Welcome to this demonstration of creating Oracle Cloud Apps extensions that leverage external REST services with Oracle Visual Builder Studio. My name is Shai Schmelzer. In the next demonstration, we're going to create a new App UI extension. We're going to leverage data both from the Oracle SaaS set of services, as well as from the, an external REST service that provides us data. And then we're going to mesh those two together into a single application that we're going to develop and test visually using Visual Builder. We're going to create a new App UI application. We'll call it Employee Locations. And in this application, we're going to use both an Oracle SaaS REST service as well as an external REST service. So let's go over to the service connection and we'll create a service connection first from the catalog. Use the HCM catalog and we would look up details about employees. And then in a similar way, we can add a new service connection, this time defined by endpoint. We'll paste the URL to a REST service. This REST service gets us information about a single record, a country. We can then set up information about the REST service. about the server connection. Over here, we right now don't need authentication, so we're going to use the none option. And then in the um, test option, we can actually test our REST service, provide a country code, send request and get the results. We'll save this as an example of the typical results and we'll create the connection. So now we have two REST services that we can leverage in the application that we are building over here. So in this application, we're going to provide first um, a list of employees. So we'll pick up from the services, the HCM service and the employee. We'll drag and drop it onto the page to create a table. We'll pick up the display name, the city and the country of an employee. We'll use the person ID as the ID of the record and click finish to create the table. We can set all sorts of properties for the table. For example, we're going to set the height for the table to be 300 pixels like that. Next, we're going to use a quick start to also create an edit page. It would allow us to edit details about an employee. Once again, we'll choose the fields that we want to show. We'll include the display name, city, country. We can also pick up, for example, the date of birth. We'll update the button title and click finish. If we switch to live mode now, we can click on an employee and go and edit the details of the employee in the edit page. Now let's modify the edit page to match our information. So we'll switch the title. We'll pick up some UI components, such as a panel component, and position them on the page. We'll create two panels here, one next to the other. And then we're going to pick up the component that has the initial form and put it on the left side. On the right side, we want to see information about the country. So to do that, we're going to go back to the data. And this time, we're going to use the country service. We'll drag and drop it into the page to create a detail form. We want to see several points of data about the country. We want to see the name of the country, the native name, population, region. And maybe we also want to see the capital and the flag. We can rearrange the fields. Click Next. The code for the country is going to come from the employee set of data and the country information over there. And there you go. We can now see information about the United States, which is where this employee is located. 
we can now refine the look and feel of our application. For example, we can make this section a little bigger. We can use other components, such as the avatar component to show us, for example, the flag information. So let's hook this to the flag field. We can make it a little bigger. And we can remove this field. And that's our little application. We can now run to preview it. We get a list of employees that we can scroll. We can pick up one of those employees and go and edit the information about this employee. Over here, we'll get information about the employee as well as the country where the employee is located. We can also use our form to update information about the employee and save it back into the Oracle HCM data.